Ranking the best defensive tackles in Madden 23. We are back here with another tier list update. Today, I'm going to be updating defensive tackle. Now, before we do go ahead and re-rank the old cards and rank the new cards, I do want to go ahead and shout out the comment of the day. But let's take a look at the old tier list real quick. I don't really think anything needs to change. I'm kind of thinking about moving Derek Brown down, though, because I'm not fully convinced that he plays better than John Madden. I know he gets two zero AP abilities, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's going to be my one change. I don't know if there's any card that plays is better than the DT John Madden for me at least. Now the first card we got right here is Justin Jones. So Justin Jones is a 97 overall theme team remix card. And what I was saying about these cards where you see like the theme team remix coins on them, really their main purpose is to just be quick sold. These really aren't designed to be usable. And like Justin Jones right here, he's six foot three, 309, 82 speed, 87 XL, not bad, but the pass rush at this point is pretty terrible. He doesn't get over 90 for a single pass rush move. Has 90 plus block shed, 90 plus impact blocking. So that's pretty solid. And for traits has bull rush and swim move on yes, which on this card, you would only want bull rush on yes. And like a dream world, you have all three of these on yes. And obviously like 99 finesse moves, 99 power moves. But if we take a look at his abilities as well, this is the main issue with these cards they get nothing for zero and at this point if you don't get anything for zero it's almost as if you don't get any discounted abilities that's kind of how far abilities have gone this year so justin jones for me um he isn't gonna rank too high i'm gonna go ahead and have him f tier just doesn't get anything for zero don't think he's as good as even like Corey peters that i believe is a zero ap inside stuff so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and have him f tier right after that we have mean joe green oh this card had so much potential uh, stats wise, he's absolutely amazing. Can be up to 97 speed, 99 acceleration as well, six foot four, 275. Finesse, power moves, block and impact blocking are basically all perfect. And for his traits, bull rush and swim move on yes. We would like to see the spin move on yes, but he has basically everything you would want on yes, besides like strip ball as well. So I guess he really doesn't. But yeah, I mean, his stats are amazing. But let's talk about his abilities real quick. So. He gets edged at elite in El Toro for zero, which I don't hate. I like him as a defensive end more than I do a defensive tackle. Like as a defensive tackle, I would have preferred like, I don't know, El Toro and inside stuff. No secure protector at time can counter inside stuff. I don't know though. Secure protector for sure used to counter inside stuff. I'm not really too sure it does anymore. I'm also not sure it even counters unstoppable force like it used to, but I like this card a lot. It's just for a defensive tackle. I don't love him. I think he's a better defensive end and I'm going to rank him based on how good I think the card just is period and I think he isn't I think he's S tier and I think he's better than Derek Brown it's just in my opinion he's not as good of a defensive tackle as like John Madden at defensive tackle I'd rather have John Madden over Mean Joe Green but at like a defensive end spot I'd rather have Mean Joe Green right after that we got Vince Wolfork so Vince Wolfork right here is huge six foot two three twenty five eighty seven speed ninety one excel the thing that kind of sucks on the card is eighty three finesse moves a little bit low but great power moves block shit impact blocking literally all of them are perfect and this time for his traits he only has bull rush on yes which actually is a really nice thing because he's only going to use that 99 power move rating so it's almost as if we can just ignore the finesse move rating so he's going to play really 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 good and this time for his abilities he can go ahead and get inside stuff for zero double or nothing for zero or under pressure for zero i, I like the card a lot i think he is kind of a little bit different than some of the people we do have an s and i promise not every single person is going s but for me he is going to be up here he's different from almost every defensive tackle minus Derek brown i feel like Derek brown is a little bit better than him because he gets uh, inside stuff and double or nothing. But I think Vince Wolfork and him can play on a similar level. But right after that, we get Warren Sapp. Uh, Warren Sapp always plays out of his mind for me. 92 speed on him and also Sugar Rush Track card boosts Excel as well. So he could be 99 acceleration. Six foot two, 303, great finesse, great power moves, block shit, impact blocking. All of it is top end. And he's basically trait glitched. Every single pass rush trade in yes, just doesn't have strip ball on yes, which isn't the biggest deal in the world in my opinion. And now this time for his abilities, he can go ahead and get inside stuff for zero, tackle supreme for zero, El Toro for zero. Okay, this is what this is gonna make me do. The whole reason Jalen Carter was S tier for me was because of that tackle ability. I feel like he does what Jalen Carter does just better. So that's gonna drop down uh, Jalen Carter into A for me. He can be great against the AKA X factors. His abilities are way more for run stopping than they are pass rush, but he's really good in that role as like a run stopper. And I would personally just rock the zero AP inside stuff on him. I think this card will play amazing for you. Now, after that, we have all themed team remix cards. They all start at 92 overalls, and then you get cards like Justin Jones, Quick Sell them, and then you can upgrade these guys to 99 overalls. And we're gonna go ahead and show 
show max ratings right here for Raekwon Davis. He's six foot six, 330, 84 speed, 91 XL. Finesse moves are a little bit lower and power moves really like they aren't like the 99 that we've been seeing. Also block shit impact blocking though was great. And this time for his traits only has bull rush on yes, which is a positive because he's only going to use that 93 power move rating and now every single theme team remix card we're going to cover has the same exact abilities el toro for zero goal line stuff for zero inside stuff for zero under pressure for zero i like the inside stuff for zero i just do not think this is an s tier card i don't i think he is good but s tier I don't think so. I am comfortable putting him A though. I don't mind that at all. Yeah, I, I like him in A. Right after that, we get Eric Armstead. So again, right here, we're gonna show max ratings. 91 speed could be up to 93, good excel. Finesse and power moves are both good. Block shed, impact blocking, also good. He's six foot seven, 292. And this time for his traits, bull brush and swim move on yes. So he's gonna use both of his ratings. And again, inside stuff, El Toro, goal line stuff, and under pressure all for zero. This card, mm, is Eric Armstead S tier? So. For for me, he's like top end of A or bottom end of S. This is tough. I'm gonna lean top end of A because I don't want every single person being an S. And right after that, we get Jeffrey Simmons. Jeffrey Simmons has been a card that has played absolutely amazing for me all year. This Ghost of Muck card was one of my favorite cards all year long. And he can be up to 93 speed, has great acceleration, can get it up to 99. Finesse, power moves, block shit, impact blocking are basically all 99. He's six foot 301. Has big hitter, high motor, bull rush, and swim move on yes. The only trade he doesn't have on yes is spin move. And once again, Again, same exact abilities. Jeffrey Simmons, though, is someone that I am more than comfortable putting S tier. He always plays absolutely amazing for me. He was an easy S tier choice. And right after that, we get John Randall. John Randall gets a big time upgrade. We're gonna go ahead and show max ratings right here. Can be up to 95 speed this time with great acceleration. Finesse, power moves, block shit, impact blocking are all amazing. He's six foot one, 290 this time. And this time for traits, has every single trade on yes besides strip ball. And again, same exact abilities. And honestly, something I should have covered before was the fact that they can get like all the X factors too. So like unstoppable force. They get the unstoppable force though, where it's like on for five plays off for like five or something like that but yeah john randall for me is also an easy s tier choice i think he is absolutely amazing and right after that we get a uh, vita vea vita vea is another one of those cards that i think plays amazing all the time and i think it's because he's six foot four 347 like he is just built in game as well so he can be up to 87 speed with 99 acceleration finesse and power moves are pretty good block shit impact blocking perfect this time for his traits only the bull rush trade on yes though so he's only going to use that 97 power move rating and he has big hitter on yes as well doesn't have all the traits we want on yes but again i think this card does play really really good and once again gets the same exact abilities vita Vey for me is more of a feel thing I always think Vita Vea plays better than some of his stats say, so I'm going to have him S tier. The last card we got right here is Marquand Macau. So he can be up to 81 speed, 87 XL. He's 6'3", 380. He can get every single team can, which is a positive. The finesse moves look really, really bad, but has great power moves, block shed, impact blocking, and he only has the bull rush trade on yes. I mean, does not have good traits in general, but again, only bull rush on yes means he's only gonna use this rating. So we can kind of like, again, like block out the finesse move rating, but every DT at this point has way better physical stats in him and again gets the same exact ability it's not going to change just because he's the ltd for me i am not too high on the card b and I don't know if that is crazy or not. That's really just from a physical stat standpoint as well. Like I would rather use everyone in A over him. But yeah, y'all, this has been my updated tier list for defensive tackle and Madden 23 Ultimate Team. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? Who do you think should go up? Who do you think should come down? Now, if you did enjoy this video and you want to stay up to date with the best cards in Madden 23, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Now, if you want to see me use some of these cards live, check the links in the description, hit that Twitch with the follow. We've been grinding the streams over there, so I would greatly appreciate that. Now, if you don't like Kenner to Twitch and you want another video to watch, check this one out right here. I ranked the best outside linebackers in Madden 23.